Well, every day, thousands of people walk from the parking lot to the front doors of the U.S. Space and Rocket Center without paying attention sometimes to one of its most notable exhibits. And Wait 31's Luke Hydash tells us the story of Miss Baker in this week's Alabama Original. Tiny astronauts, monkeys, Abel, and Baker are readied for the first flight into outer space. And Tiny monkeys with a big job. Their mission was influential in NASA sending eventual human astronauts into space. In a sense, the monkeys were hitchhikers. Hitchhiking, a 16-minute ride to and from space. They are, they are the founding mothers of space flight. I like to consider them. Monkeys, Baker and Abel, took that trip and changed space exploration forever. Without them, the work astronauts like Alan Shepard, Buzz Aldrin, and more recently, even the crew to one day board Artemis and return to the moon, all that work would not be possible. They were a major learning curve and opportunity for NASA at that time. The monkeys proved humans could make it to space. A short-lived career for Miss Baker, but retirement is where Huntsville comes into play for the space legend. She is the longest lived in captivity squirrel monkey in the world where she lived for 27 years. The squirrel monkey lived at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center from 1971 until her death in 1984. People of all ages loved her, especially children. They would write and ask her questions and what was it like to go into space and how cool it is that she did this. And so she inspired this, this young generation. Those letters now live on in the archives at the center. This is her grave marker. Like the letters, Miss Baker's memory lives on too. Many pass by her grave every day, heading in to see all the history made possible because of her work. Others stop to leave gifts and say thanks. To give an apple or a banana in her memory as a, we still remember you, Miss Baker. We still remember that brave mission you took on May 28, 1959. With an Alabama original in Huntsville, I'm Luke Hydash, Way 31 News. Well, Luke, we thank you so much. By the way, Ms. Baker died in 1984 from kidney failure. By the way, to see all of Luke's past Alabama originals, you can head over to our website, waytv.com.